Curl Up and Die by Suzanne Gill and Anne Isherwood from North, North Alboro, Massachusetts. Fade in, Interior Beauty Salon Day. Close on calendar January 2008. Carmine, 45, a beefy guy with an easy smile, fusses with the dull blonde hair of Martha, a cranky woman of advanced age. From her reflection in the mirror, she is not pleased. She rearranges his work, and in a grinding voice, Carmine, you know I don't like it pushed back on the sides like that. Martha, 23 years, and you have the same hairdo. Let's do something in you. She shakes her head a firm no. Carmine smiles and s sighs and styles. When he offers Martha a mirror, she takes it in every angle. She keeps a tight grip on a $20 bill. Uh, here. I don't think I got my money's worth today. She leaves. He collapses in a chair and spots a her gum wad stuck to the table. He makes a fist and shakes his head. Interior small enclosed room, day, close on calendar, March 2008. A ready-to-go Carmine stands behind a prepped Martha, eyes closed, sitting by the sink. He combs colors through each strand. Oh, this is a fabulous, fabulous. Don't you dare open your eyes. He lowers the chair to rinse. He gently tiles her hair and then applies glop. He hums as he blow dries the yellow, orange, and blue hair into rainbow effect. He reaches for a mirror and holds it in front of her. A man in a dark suit enters and gasps. Carmine stands back, admiring his work. Uh, too much orange? The man rolls a casket alongside the table. Okay. Had your fun. Get her ready. She's going up in ten minutes. 